Hey guys, Luck here. Today I'm going to show you a quick comparison of the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, the original and the clone. Uh, for those that didn't know, yes, clones, replicas, whatever you want to call them, do exist out there. So I want to give you guys a few pointers what to watch out for uh, when purchasing this knife. It's a very popular knife, great knife, but they do copy it as they do many others. So this is a Paramilitary 2, very classic design. Uh, the lock is up top. Uh, quick giveaway on a cheaper replica version. This lock will actually not be here. It's gonna have the classic a little lock over here that most knives do. When you see that, you already know it's a fake because paramilitary two doesn't come in that style. Um, so here we have two. Um, can anybody even tell which one's the real one? Probably not. Just so you guys know, this is the real one. This is the clone. Uh, first giveaway. You can see that um, the logo, nice and dark here, light here. Although this at th times can be dark, there's a lot of variations of this clone. So unless you have both knives next to each other, it's gonna be really hard to tell. Another thing is you can see the holes are a little bigger and not as smooth as on the original. Um, the screws are very similar on some of them. On some, it will be a little difference. It's hard to tell in the video, but there is a little bit of a difference. But once again, you won't be able to tell unless you have them side by side. As you see, the hole in the lanyard hole is a lot smoother and polished on the real one. Uh, the fake clone is a little more dull. If you flip them around, Clip is reversed, but that's not a big deal. The main difference with the clip is the logo. As you see, it's not as detailed and engraved on the clone. It's nice and deep on the real one. The screws are a little bigger on the clone, nice and small on the real one. Let me compare it this way. You can see the logo is different color but the design is on point um, another difference will be when you look side by side the lock mechanism it's a lot cleaner and smooth and smooth on the real one nice cleaner cuts uh, no harsh cuts over here you can see a harsher cut um, still not something you'll be able to tell unless you have them both next to each other um, the next giveaway will be right up here as you see, the clone has a little smooth section. It's not teeth all the way through. On the real one, the teeth go end to end. Um, besides that, it's very similar. It's small difference. It's very subtle. Um, up here, the real one will be a little smoother finish on the cut than the fake. the teeth over here subtle differences as well I mean they do a really good job don't get me wrong the clone is pretty good performance wise but it's not the real deal it's not gonna be the steel they promise you it, it is decent steel uh, you can see that the um, real one is a lot tighter closure everything's nice and tight here the clone is a little more open and loose. So when you open the clone, there is a little bit of blade play. When you open the real one, no blade play, nice and tight. Another thing is, listen to the sound when you open the clone. Clone. Real one, a lot nicer, cleaner, crispier click on the real one. Same thing when you close in. Real one, nice click. The clone, just like a little thump, no loud click. Once again, real one, click, clone, just a thump. And look at this blade play when you move the clone around. Real one, slight, but it's tight. Um, the scales are very close. Some of the cheaper replicas I noticed the scales are very rough and ugly. 
um, oops, we want to open to really smooth, what's it called, more rougher, you want to say, um, I mean, overall, it's a really good, clean clone, but, so once again, you can see the color difference in the logos. That's not always an easy get giveaway because sometimes they will be darker. You can see the size difference on the clone and the real one. Uh, same with the smaller, more detailed letters on the real one than the clone. And screw differences as well up here. A lot cleaner. Oops. A lot cleaner. Then on the clone, just a rougher cut. And that's really it. I hope this is helpful to you guys. Um, if you're going to buy a clone, pay what it's worth. $20, $30 range. The real one is a $130, $150 range. Um, you know, I would hate to see somebody get scammed as they a lot often do. Um, get the real deal. It's worth every investment. It's an amazing knife. If you just want to look, get a clone. But I recommend going with the real deal if you wanted to do what it does. If you want S30V steel, you gotta go with the real spider core. The clone might be some kind of stainless, possibly D2. Yeah. Just the sound is not right. Yeah. So appreciate you guys watching. Hope this was helpful. Any questions, let me know. Uh, as I come across any other type of nice that I replicated, I'll try to make a video. Um, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to subscribe below, um, and got lots more videos coming for you. Thank you.